Hi, beautiful people. It's Courtney. Welcome back. Today, I have an exciting Walmart slime versus Target slime. I've been wanting to do one of these for a while now, so I'm super excited to share these new slimes with you guys. I hope you enjoy this video. Please make sure to click that subscribe button and let's hop into it. How is that for keeping an intro short? Okay, so this first slime is from Walmart. I was the most excited to try this one just because of the packaging. It was supposed to be cookie dough, like super lifelike, and no, just no. I mean, look at this this was the strangest weirdest texture i think i've ever experienced it's almost like a super super like jiggly water slime it's not sticky at all but it's really hard to stretch you can't really poke it it doesn't stick to itself and a lot of the chocolate chips were actually falling out of it so this one was just really strange really different um i'm not too sure what else to say except it was very weird and i was not that impressed with it This next slime is coming straight from Target and it's this Nickelodeon slime. I actually thought these were really cool because they had a ton of different themes. This one was like birthday cake inspired so they're scented as well and it has the slime and it has a bunch of add-ins which I thought was really great. This one has some like colorful beads in it and it's this pretty pink slime. Now the only thing I will say with these containers is they were really hard to get the slime out of but the texture was actually really unique and I really liked it. It wasn't like a classic homemade slime but it was pretty close if I stretched it slowly it was definitely resembled a more like homemade slime versus a putty um, but this was really really thick and I liked it it kind of reminded me of a glue wall slime slightly kind of a little bit but I like that it was scented I like I feel like this was the closest representation of kind of like a real homemade slime versus some of the store-bought putties so I thought this was really cool really different and yeah, really unique. Next, we have this Walmart slime, and this is another Nickelodeon slime, and this was just called like lavender slime. It wasn't called anything spectacular. It wasn't scented or anything, but I do believe this one was only a dollar. It was super cheap, and I must say, I loved this one. This resembled a real slime, and when I say real slime, I mean like a handmade slime, not necessarily like a factory made slime, and this reminded me something like I just made or I was reviewing for another video. Out of all the slimes in this video, this was most like a homemade slime it was like I couldn't tell the difference it was great it was amazing I couldn't recommend this one enough it was super stretchy great for poking great for bubble pops so I was very impressed I honestly can't say enough good things about it especially considering it was the cheapest slime out of all the slimes in this video I was really impressed you definitely need to get your hands on one of these this was my favorite back to a target slime this one was called like what is this something fluff <laughs> i don't know it had really nice packaging and i had high expectations this was supposed to be a super like fluffy 
perfect for swirling slime and this was just like the opposite it was almost like it was just clay but it was really really stiff it was hard to stretch um it was scented really nicely like guava it was i don't know it had a really unique this is like a marshmallow slime but scented like guava which was a little bit confusing but the texture on this one was definitely a fail for me this was one of the more expensive ones it had a nicer packaging but as you could see it's just kind of odd like it doesn't really i don't know it's stretchy kind of it's very stiff you have to have muscles to stretch this thing i will say but it doesn't like drizzle or anything like that it's just it's almost like clay but like extra hard clay if that makes sense Now this next one from Walmart, I know it's not technically a slime, it's silly putty and I used to like play with this stuff all the time when I was younger and I haven't played with it in a really long time so I wanted to get one and I thought that giant egg was pretty cool but I was like actually really disappointed with this. I was like has silly putty always been this stiff or have I just played with like slime too much? I don't know which one it was, but as you can see, it's super, super stiff. Again, I'm getting an arm workout stretching this. Um, definitely, you know, you can't really play with it like you would slime. I guess I had a different like recollection in my memory of what Silly Putty was. I didn't realize it was quite like this. I don't know if mine was maybe just dried out or if that's how it always is. Um, I even tried playing with a smaller amount to see if that made a difference, but yeah, this one was kind of a fail. Definitely not not what I was expecting. So from Target, I also picked up another one of those Nickelodeon slimes because this one was completely different than the last one. This was like a watermelon jelly cube inspired slime. And again, I really like how they make these very similar to homemade slimes. Like it's a jelly cube. It has all these cute little black beads in it and it's scented like watermelon. It had a really nice scent to it. Again, this one was also really hard to get out of the container. But overall, I think these Nickelodeon slimes are pretty cute good like I think out of all the slimes I'm most impressed with those and as you could see like it's not quite as stretchy as I would probably like it to be but it's still really fun to play with it's really unique I mean it's not very often you see like a store-bought putty you know with jelly cubes and scents and all that stuff so I think they definitely get like an A plus for effort and the slime itself is pretty good so let me know if you guys have tried these slimes before I'm really curious on what you think about these Nickelodeon ones because they have really unique textures it's not quite like a homemade slime texture and it's also not quite like a putty it's somewhere in the middle and I actually think they're quite nice for like a store-bought slime so I'm really curious to see what you guys think of these All right, this last slime I have from Walmart was really interesting. It was this grape soda and I had like throwbacks to like a mini version of this I got from Wish. Now, okay, this was supposed to be scented and it definitely had like a really artificial fake scent to it. Didn't smell like grape soda to me at all. But look at this, it, it felt almost like jello, except, you know, it didn't stick to me or anything. It was just so bouncy. It's very much like the first one. This one was a little more fun to play with than the first one. Um, but it was just definitely not your typical slime. I don't know what to think about these. Like, I think they're actually kind of a different kind of fun, but I, I'm just, I'm confused on these. They're just so unique and so different.
The last slime I got from Target actually wasn't a slime. I did not realize this was like a slime bath soap and um, someone had actually already opened this. I guess someone really wanted to try this. It did have a really nice scent to it, but it, you definitely cannot play with it like slime. It gets very crumbly. So I decided to take it to the bathroom, try it in my sink. And it was a fun concept to kind of wash my hands with this, but it was just so slippery. It would just slip right out of my hands. So overall, I'm not sure how I feel about this. It smelled really good. This is definitely like a novelty product but anyways that's all i got for you guys today i really hope you enjoyed this video please make sure to subscribe if you aren't already and i will see you guys thursday for a brand new video bye